video, this is Fargo's Raven, and welcome back to our adventures here in the Fire of the Phoenix, where last time we were working on trying to clear out some space up here, um, just to get rid of some of the snow and see if we could figure out what was going on with these pathways that we have going on up here. So far, all I'm discovering is that the balance bear had too much fun. Um, I was looking around and realized that uh, these guys actually aren't pulling in a whole lot of food from up here. So I might have to start splitting them up and having some of them come around to the edges and see what we can do about that. This balance bear is going to be a nice meal if we can get to that point. Um, and then also we were about to set up to have... Um, to have... Uh, oh yeah! have her baby. So hopefully we'll be able to um, do that soon. Um, so let's go on ahead and dive in and get to work with all of this. Um, so let's see, we have the peaceful bear here, we have the balance bear here, we have a healing fruit with the world down there. And then, oh yeah, we have a wanderer over here who has the heat body. Uh, Malara, who we were probably going to be adding in. The heat body's a big help, and the digging paw. That's something I wanted to potentially put onto our purse notes, if we got that far. <laughs> so, hopefully we'll be able to see that come through. And then she's got the peacock tail back there too, so very nice. We'll see if we can get her to come and, come and visit us. So, I'm gonna go ahead and have Oya climb up here put down her nest. There she goes. She's coming to say hi. Maybe. We'll see. And grab up that root. Ah, she's digging up some things. Let's see. There's one right here beside us, so she'll probably come over if we leave it there for a minute. She left us. Come back, friend. Yes, come and join our people. Oh, um, hang on. Yes, I want that. But I don't know if I can grab that. I need her to go back up to the top, though. Dang it. Oh, hi. The bunnies, of course, are having way too much fun diving into everything. Uh, Rook is cold. Dang it. Robin is okay. How come she's okay and he's cold? Elevation. Got it. Let's go ahead and grab these. After that, too. Alright, yeah. Let's have Alara. It looks like she went ahead and picked up all the roots that she could in the area. So, let's see. Missini is not dealing with the cold well, as usual. Let's see. Let's put. Do I want to, like, do I need to take out all of the snow, or do I need to focus on trying to bring down this balance bear? Because that's something I could do. Hopper is struggling with the cold, so I can't really have him go after the balance bear. There, this turn. We'll have Chime head up this way. Let's see. Home 
and see. Home and see. No. There was someone I could have her be with. What was it? C and K. J and I. Have her be the sunspot and add in the heat body. Why not? Add more dragon blood to the mirage line. Looks like Mirage's line is gonna be more that direction. And most of our wanderers we're finding are female lately. Which is a unique feeling. Hopper, J and K, G and B. Hmm. I don't know how what I'm gonna do with this part. Okay, let's see. G and C, J and H. Does he have? He's got heat body recessive, and we've both got bird beak. So this would be a good option. Somewhere we could add in peacock tail. We do heat body and peacock tail for him. So that's definitely something that I would like to add in on him. And then let's go ahead and have Star get ready. So we've got heat body. We could do peacock tail. And I think. Yeah, peacock tail and wing probably be the best bet. Okay. Let's use her turn to meet with him. Who's got more strength? He's got a bit, she has none. So they are mated. Let's move him out of the way. So I kind of just want to get her in the snow. And he's all like, oh help. Um, grab this. And then, let's see. Let's take a look. I think the fish went further downstream, didn't they? Well, we'll have to come all the way down. Yeah, there's some fish down here. Um, and then for the twins... We have a pair of wings over here. They would need to be with someone with heat body, though. I'll have to save them for someone. J and H. C and K. She could be with Cricket. She could be with Cricket, and we could just put a bunch of um, wings in him. See, let's put where is it? The bird wing. So should we just just do bird wing for him? That could work. We could just put fill his in with bird wing. And then for her, we would do heat body and bird beak. That would be nice. So, heat body and break. break. There we go. Let's see, mate with him. Plant a nest. Try to dig up that root. Might as well work on it. Okay. 
Okay, then. Um, oh yeah, we'll be fine overnight. I was supposed to figure out our persons. I and F, J and H. H and home, I and home. So these two are related. So I and home, H and home. Well, that makes things a little bit easier, doesn't it? J and H. So, let's see, Roar and Amor, <laughs> Chuff and Ash. Okay, I can I can live with that. Let's see, we want Heat Body on everyone. So let me do that real quick. Heat Body, and then I think I'm gonna do. Digging paw. Heat body and digging paw. Because the digging is going to help us out a good bit too. So let's see. Digging paw. So no more. And then for him, we'll do heat body and purse out. So where is heat body? First note. Ash definitely needs heat body. Everyone needs heat body, apparently. And then I don't know, I'm I don't mind him having the scorpion tail. I kind of feel like he would want to do collecting since he's been doing collecting so much. He's been trying, but he can't keep up with some of our other creatures. And then for Chuff, we're going to do Purr Snout, Snout and Heat Body. I think so. So let's do Heat Body and Purr Snout. I didn't do it for him because he does have that recessive as well. They have a small chance for a, a bird beak baby, which wouldn't be the end of the world. Either. I'm not going to set up a whole lot with nests, so I think we'll stop there with the nests, but it would not hurt to have them be pregnant already and ready. I think, yeah, I left Star as well. Um, see, Malenko is okay and won't be attacked, but I think Hopper is A in range and B shouldn't go too far. So let's see. These tiles are gonna be cleared out. So I'm gonna move Cricket to here. And then I'm gonna move Hopper over to here. Why not be just kinda in between a few of them? And then I'm gonna move Malenko over here and have her pat down some spots. Um Let's take a look. These guys are supposed to be gathering. However, Lucas, old man Lucas, is beginning to struggle for temperature. So let's have Pheasant grab this piece. We are apparently in a drought. Cap struggles with the berries. I remember. Okay, so these guys. I know the twins need them to figure something out. 
both of them. We do have a large number of roots up here. And then Heartstone. I don't think I want to have her go after that rabbit. Now let's, that's hard. I don't know which direction to send them in. <laughs> we have a bunch with, with uh, nimble fingers. How about we send these two down? we have wings up here. I could send them down that way towards those. We could try to grab a group to go down that way. That would be neat. Okay, do I have anyone else that has turns? I do not. Sorry it took me a bit to get mutation set up. Of course we have snow. Of course we still we have snow. I didn't get that in the forecast, but it's alright. Four days we'll have snow and minus two weather. Okay, and we had two babies born. Two adorable oh my goodness. Two adorable babies with Absolutely amazing luck. Okay. Well, let's start over here. Because we do have our little phoenix. Not 100% yet. Not just yet. We do have the scorpion tail. But we have the bird beak. So what's that saying? We have the bird beak, we have the heat body, and we have the pair of wings. So, that's that's the majority of what we're looking for, whenever I think of phoenix, bird beak, uh, heat body, wings. Um, just gonna go a, a little extra mile, because I just, come on, that's gonna be amazing. Um, so, peacock tail is still needed, and then we added the mega horns, the red mega horns, so the... the Horn color is going to take a lot longer, in my opinion, but will be worth it. Anyway, um, let's see. Okay, here's a... this fits her a little bit more. This is going to be Flare. It's a naming suggestion from Logan Gilligan. Thank you so much for the naming suggestions. They help out tremendously. So the tribe little one. Very much getting towards what I was hoping for. She's so cute. Okay. And then our other baby is a little baby boy, actually. It's really hard to see that mane when it's black. 
That is so cute. Uh, we do have the red and brown. He got a very similar pattern to his father, Sunspot, which was absolutely amazing the first time around. Now it's, it's, it's hilarious, especially with that amazing peacock tail there. Um, that definitely came through. So we have heat body, bird beak, and peacock tail. So the, these two, depending on, these two might be mates later on. We might, we might have them be mates just to see if we can get to that a little bit faster because that's, that is absolutely amazing. So, um, Sunspot to me was kind of one of our first ones that really made it more, kind of hit home for the the heat body. So I kind of feel like this name fits him a little bit more. Maybe. Anyone that knows um, Egyptian mythology will know. I'm gonna name him Ra. Welcome to the tribe, Ra. Ra was the Egyptian god of the sun, um, who rides the chariot of the sun. Uh, not chariot. I'm mixing up different ones. The boat. He rides his his boat on the Nile, and um, Throughout the day, he rides down the Nile, and then at night, they go into the other world, and then they uh, have to go through that all night and fight off the creatures of darkness. They ferry the dead down to the land of the dead, and then they um, take you know take them to the land of the dead, and then they have to go all the way through and come back out on the other side and then they come out and it's the sunrise and it's a creation story it's how they explained um, the sun and how the sun rose and sunset but it's an absolutely amazing story I do highly recommend going and checking that out it was really good read really interesting information um, that is a naming suggestion from Troy Shipley. So thank you so much for the um, naming suggestions and the the reminder of some of our ancient mythologies. I actually really enjoyed um, looking at them and being like, oh hey, I remember that one. So um, yeah, her name is one little baby Ra because he's showing off, and I think it's cute. Okay, so, um, my doing the, uh, mutation menus and story time kind of put me a little bit over time, so that's all the time that we have for today, unfortunately. Um, hoping that Malara will be able to help out a good bit with, um, the heat body, but now I'm looking at it, I don't know how much help we really need with that. And that's gonna be interesting. Also, I think I need to get Hearthstone back with our friends. But, we're doing really well. So, thank you guys so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like. Uh, leave any naming suggestions that you have in the comment section down below, and do please subscribe. And I will see y'all in the next one. Thank y'all. Bye-bye.